Good morning. I'm Jan Bearden, and I want to welcome you back to Morning Reflections produced by Raising Dreamers Ministries. In talking with people about their relationship with the Lord Jesus, you may sometimes hear, I'm not such a bad person. I try to live a good life and be a good church member, a neighbor, a good husband, a good wife, etc. I think I'm okay with God and he's okay with me. In other words, they are telling you they are trusting in their own works to get them to heaven. In Luke 19 verses 9 through 12, we find the Lord Jesus speaking with his disciples. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I'm not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week, I give tithes of all I possess. Notice it says here, prayed thus with himself. All he did was recount every good thing he thought he had done to God, wanting to impress God. This man had a big problem, pride. Pride in himself, pride in his accomplishments, and in his religious rituals. Now, what can you say to someone who's trusting in their own good works to get them to heaven? Well, let's look at Revelation 20, 12 through 15, to see if there's an answer. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So you see, our Father will allow individuals who so desire it to be judged according to their own works, which are written in the books. Yet there is a great hope we can offer to our loved ones and neighbors. There is another book that will be opened, the book of life. And those whose names are written in that book will be saved. How do you get your name written into that book? By simply trusting the Lord Jesus as a little child, come to him in humble submission, repentance and trust, and cease trusting in your own good behaviors, accomplishments and rituals. Ask him to come into your heart, to forgive your sins and to give you eternal life. And he will. See you tomorrow.